Hello everyone. Today we are going to implement add last method in our doubly linked list implementation. So the format is same. First we will do a pair programming or coding and then after that we will come back on a whiteboard and we'll execute some use cases. Add last value t nothing returns and so you you, you guys remember we are we, we 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 love to reuse our existing functionality and that is a good philosophy so in this case there will be only one edge case uh, and that that is like if there is no node and user want to implement uh, client wants to use add last so it will say okay list dot add last any value in that case if if you if you observe at first and at last both should work in the same way if there is no node so in that case we already have the implementation of at first i will check if it's null then from here return and call at first and here is a value so this is our first case we managed to this and in this case i don't care about any other edge case size plus plus or anything else now the next step so in the next step or maybe first we can confirm what we implemented is it working so i can say until this run so size is zero and then size is one it means add uh, but this one is at first I will say add last so still it's it, it look like it's working and we can do confirmation by using debugger so I'm going into this add last method it's coming into add last checking head is null yes it's triaging this to add first and add first is doing so yep we are sure now what's next if that is not a first node it means i need to add new value in the end of a add last method uh, in the list there are two ways like if you divide your thoughts it's pretty easy so first i'm always sure there will be a node i need to create a new node in any case and i need to give that value so that is always there yep second step i need to found where i need to add that so basically that is my last node of a linked list how i can found the last node what i can do i can say okay and now i will run the while loop until current dot mm. next node is not equal to null so this is pretty simple logic so i'm saying okay current uh, you have a head now you need to start moving to the one by one and you need to go until the next node basically the next node if null it means it's the last node and i am currently at that time current is assigning a referring to the last node and how i need to increase i need to move one by one and this is okay so at this point current is at a last node what else in case of a doubly linked list the new node basically this will be our last node its next node should be null and its previous node should be our previous last node which is currently current so as, as you guys remember we have three parameters value next node and previous node so for the new node I'm saying okay your previous node should be referred to the current and you will see also this once we are doing this on a, a whiteboard so i hope things will be clear at that time if you are still confused here then what else i want i want current dot next node node so basically this one is a kind of a loop loop means now current my the the, the tail uh, the current node dot next node should be the new node and new node previous node should be the current node so we achieve this and then after that is there anything i need to do yes there is a bug i need to be careful with this bug size plus plus anything else 
uh, I can do one thing maybe after this I can say current is null after adding this so there will be no memory leak but if still I don't add this this still there will be no memory leak why because current is scope is only this so once this method is done complete th this variable will not more available okay now we will run uh, okay I add last I will add one then I will say add two then again show me the value then I will say add three four five and then we'll see three four five and six so it's saying first size is zero then is one then is two and then is in the end is six i everything is working and we can see if everything looks good or not so our list should be looks like one two three four five six yes so it means our method is working correctly now there is we can do trade-off between space and time and can improve our time complexity of this other so for this method current rates are big o of n big o of n n means number of nodes but can i improve this yes i can improve so if you guys see this 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 line basically this one is a last node which we in singly list used as a tail or a last node i can also introduce one more node and i can say this one will be my tail okay so once this is tail it means i am no more interested in this work makes sense because i already have tail then i need to do this then current is tail and then there is only one change i need to say now tail you need to move so tail is now the last new node is our tail so everything still should work and uh, no there is a bug yes what is the bug so basically in a case of a one value add last and add first both are same so i trace to add first but in case of a second value i'm not taking care of my tail properly so i need to improve here my algorithm so i will say okay if tail is equal to equal to null it means this is first time we are calling like there is no node then i need to say tail you are equal to head so by saying that everything should work so now you can see everything is working and now this algorithm is big o of one not big o of n can 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 we improve this somehow is there any way i think this one is okay by playing with the head and tail pointers but i think we can improve by introducing one method which is pretty good mostly if you see in a collection or anywhere else you mostly have this method so we our algo um, our doubly linked list is also giving this opportunity to our clients to use the is empty and is empty should be is equal to zero okay at this point this one is done now i'm saying i don't want to play with the our pointers so in this case i can say if is empty which means the same and in this case again i can say is empty again this is the same thing make sense now we will run and everything should work cool welcome back so just like you already saw the code we will try to understand that code properly so uh, how we can go we can execute kind of use cases that will be more easier so until now we already have a size method we already have a add first method and now we are going to implement add last and our client is for example using l doubly link list first maybe try to add last one then it try dot add last two kind of that so i think mainly we need to take care of two edge cases uh, first edge case will be if the list is empty 
and the second edge case i think that is the only one edge case okay and you guys remember my philosophy or like the the, the, the good coding practice every time when you are going to implement a new method please try to remember what methods you already have in as a methods on in that class for example in this case uh, we already saw in array list implementation and in singly linked list implementation the same philosophy we will implement here so first we will go and uh, what we have until in our class we have a head we have a size and we have a add first method add first method which always add the node in the start like every time it will be head will move in case of add last method we are saying okay we will every time add in the end so that is add last method now head is currently null client ask add last okay the implementation and just like you already saw that in a code i will only make the pictorial implementation of that so we created a one node one add last and in the end we are putting this head to this okay in this case can we reuse our method so yes we can reuse so basically this is the case only try to understand okay if there is no value it's an empty doubly linked list so first value if i add add first or add last operation is still same because there is no value it will be a first node so in our case we already have a add first method so why not try this task to the add first method and add first method is already taking care of all the edge cases size and other things so it will be pretty good for us and it's a good coding practice so in that case what i did uh, we have a add last this is our method i check if head equal to equal to null then move towards the add first and there is no need to discuss add first again you can watch uh, the, the previous video in that case now we solve the first case assume I, when i started my doubly linked list implementation first we discuss about the add last method and in that case and thus now i am implementing add first in that case can i reuse anything so it's a question for you again if i created first add last method and then today we are implementing add first method is there any possibility i can reuse the already implemented add last functionality or not okay coming back to this so i reused and we already know in case of add first this will do this and then this will increment any other edge case for now no otherwise else you already saw in a code what we do we will take a one pointer current c it is equivalent to head and then i am checking the while loop okay if current dot next node is null then it means i am on a last so in this case i will get the head i will go inside of this c is equal to head i will say c dot next is null it will say yes c dot next is null it means now i need to put new node is already there like this i already checked c dot next is null for now null yes so what i did i say okay c dot next should be assigned to this new node yes then because it's a double linked list it's not a single linked list i am also saying okay the new node your previous node should be assigned to this so if you guys remember in a code i wrote something like this node value null and then previous node is current so by doing saying by doing this what i am saying okay there will be a new node n create that node this node is created put that value value is there put this null if i am not putting again it's by default is null null then i'm saying okay your previous node the third argument is previous node should be referring to the c so i did this then after that i did c dot next equal to n which is this c dot next equal to n 
and now we are done and yes we need to do size plus plus otherwise there will be a bug so this example is done but what i can do assume i added one to maybe i can make this short smaller so it will be so we have one two three four now we are on five so these are all like nodes and this one is previous this one is next and now you will give the six add dot last six in this case what will happen first we are saying okay c is equal to head yeah then c dot next until it's not null do one next one next so basically first c go to this then go to this because this its next is not null its next is not null this next is null c dot x is null yes so we are on the last position here i will say okay create a new node this one put this null previous to me and then value and then so this is our add last method now there is again the same uh, optimization issue in this case my add last is a big o of n our add first is always a big o of 1 but our add last is big o of n can we improve this um, we can improve this by using an extra so basically it's again time and space so i'm going to do a trade off with the space and i will improve my time how so if you guys review or observe this we always have a current moving while loop until basically we are looking for the last one so i can introduce our new pointer which is tail and who is responsible to take reference the last node every time just like we have a head every time we have head uh, reference so when we do add first so basically we move add in a same way tail is responsible to take care of our last method in that case once i introduce this yeah there is a space compromise but we will see what we will get so in that case we will say okay by the way i'm not talking uh, discussion about the add first once i will introduce tail uh, we need to do some changes in at first you already saw in our code part so here i am not going to discuss that only what we will do uh, we will see what will happen in this case so we already have this list and as we already discussed tail is responsible to take care of this now for the learning perspective uh, point of view we already there and now clients want to add add last four in that case first what will happen we already have written code here okay i will do both together so basically i will say okay create a new node so this this is else case node node it means the node is generated here okay next value is four now in memory i'm going to put four next uh the next pointer should be null so this one is null from here what i want the new nodes previous should be referring to the current tail this how i can achieve this i can achieve simply by doing this because this third argument is a previous one or in case you are confused with this i am not going to put anything here then i can say like okay node dot previous node equal to tail so basically both are same this was the constructor under the hood is doing the same thing so i'm going with this it look more nicer to me okay then what's next i need this thing this one is tail next node to new node tail your next node please assign to the refer to the new node which is node cool then i need to move this because tail is giving us a hundred percent guarantee i'm always on a last node so now to achieve this i'll say okay tail you have now this and in the end size plus plus now in this case what benefit we get 
So you can see, if I add five, I will create a new node. I will take a tail and I will do this operation. And this operation is independent from the input. Input means number of elements, number of nodes in this case. So I don't care if I have 1000, I have 2000. Every time I will do the constant operation, the same operation. But before that, in the first implementation, we are doing current node, while loop one by one until end. Here there is no while loop, nothing. So it's a big of one operation. So assume one instruction is taking like one second. I have 1000 uh, nodes. And in this case, big of one, I'm going to add up 1001. Then it's the previous implementation will say, okay, 1001 second, I will take to complete. In this case, I'm saying one second. So if you have 1000 nodes, if you have 1 million nodes, it's always one second. So only by introducing a one new pointer, a reference, sorry, we compromise a space, but the benefit which we got, that is amazing. Like you can easily see, it's, it's pretty amazing to get this kind of a algorithm. So I hope uh, you enjoyed today's video. See you in the next video. Bye.